And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A good pick up there of 20 yards. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. A shotgun snap for Goff. This is caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Rams add on to their lead. Zerline now for the PAT. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. Gets around him. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense. Defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Flushed out right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Play action, Garoppolo rolling to his right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A big play there just before halftime, 45 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse, still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Out to his left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big 21, hit. 21. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. He'll buy some time right. And his throw is incomplete. Akeem Tlaib, the veteran pro bowler, there to get a hand in, knock it away. Well, so many times defensive backs get caught playing the man rather than the football, but not in this case. That's an excellent play. Did exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the football and help break up the pass. And, yep, as a result, knocks it down. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Yeah. 
From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. The offense stays put. They failed twice already in this first half, but they're going to go a third time here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. He's going to wind up in there, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down, where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. Steps away to his left. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. 76, hello. 76, 76, 5, 5, 5, 5, super, 12. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. That one goes for 36 yards. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And Zerline's kick is good. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Flush to his right. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Goff wants to throw on third and one. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Solomon Thomas with a big time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. They are going for it. Goff. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Malcolm Smith there for the stop. 
third quarter and you've got the lead, you're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit Super your team right 66. now. Off play action. Here's gone. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Here's gone. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. This Here offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, while we have a second here, how about we get bold and make a couple Super Bowl predictions? Hey, why not? Let's go ahead and put ourselves on the spot. Just more fodder for the angry people. What do you think? Who's going to win it? Who's going to be the MVP? Well, my prediction for this one is the New England Patriots win the football game. 21, 21. They win it 32 to 30. The MVP, the McCourty twins, Jason and Devin. They both get two interceptions apiece, and instead of splitting the trophy, they wrestle for it right there in the 50-yard line post game. because you know sibling rivalries, one always wants the upper hand. Okay, that's bold. I'll go Rams on a Greg Zerline 44-yarder from the right hash as time expires. 44, MVP that's nothing for him. MVP Todd Gurley, two touchdowns, one catching, one rushing. I like it. There you don't like, you don't like the McCordy thing, though. No, I do like that. <laughs> If that happens, you're Nostradamus. There you go. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Garoppolo looks to throw. They'll roll him out right. And this is going to be incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down. Threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. When are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. And it appears the offense is going to try this again. They've yet to convert the first three times on fourth down, but they're going once more. They're going to try and throw. Caught left side, Garcon. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Now the defense going to use.